I am Maurice Leon, and I am the community elder. As the oldest living citizen at 96, my only job is to keep Earth history alive. I tell stories to the young people and the visitors from other worlds. Although my memory isn't what it used to be, I try my best to get the stories right. Sure, I'd love to. There was once a war so big that they say all of the world was involved. This was actually the second time it happened. They fought because a terrible man named Hitler rose to power and slaughtered many innocents. Millions were lost. Even the colony war pales in comparison. Why, certainly. It's what I do. There was a time when huge monstrosities called dinosaurs ruled over Earth, long before humans existed. They were similar to some of the larger life forms you might see elsewhere in the settled systems. Their reign ended when a... Uh, I can never remember if it was a comet, an asteroid, or a meteor that hit the Earth. Whatever it was, it nearly wiped out most of the life at that time. Hmm. Let me think of a good one. A long time ago, thousands of years, humans built a wall so large, it spanned the northern length of one of Earth's largest empires, China. They called it the Great Wall of China, and it was meant to keep out invading hordes. If I recall correctly, it didn't always work as well as they had hoped. I'll have to look it up again. Memory's not what it once was. Sure, I'd love to. I heard that there was once a giant creature that attacked one of Earth's major cities. It knocked over buildings and... You know, my apologies. I, I'm pretty sure I'm confusing that with an old movie. Why, certainly. It's what I do. Long ago, people built boats to sail the Earth's largest ocean, the Pacific. They would travel from one island to the next. Some of Earth's greatest civilizations formed this way. The Philippines, Indonesia, Hawaii, and many more. It's quite incredible that even way back then, humanity was constantly exploring and spreading far and wide, just like we do today. Sure, I'd love to. Have I told you about the, uh, Titanic? Named after the same Titan our humble homeworld is. It was a massive ocean liner. The biggest they ever built at the time. Said to be virtually indestructible. But it sank when it hit an iceberg. <laughs> Hubris truly is the folly of humankind. Hmm. Let me think of a good one. I may need to brush up on this one because I forget some of the details. Have you ever heard of Bollywood? Uh, no, uh, Hollywood, that's it. Though Bollywood is just as important, Hollywood was a city in a place called California. It was famous for being the birthplace of movies as we know them. It formed because the weather was almost always ideal and its location allowed filmmakers to more easily evade litigation by a man named Thomas Edison, who owned several movie-making patents at the time. 
Hmm. Let me think of a good one. Here's one about the place my ancestors came from. France. In the late 1700s, people were unhappy with the way the king was running the country. The common people rose up and had a revolution storming the Bastille, which helped them turn the tide of battle. Eventually, they overthrew King Louis the 16th, I believe, and sentenced him and the queen to death by beheading. Barbaric, but effective. Why, certainly. It's what I do. In 1206 and the years following, a warlord named Genghis Khan conquered nearly all of Asia. Asia was a continent, the largest on Earth. You may have seen it on old maps of the planet and, uh, oh, uh, um, um, I, I forgot where I was going with that. Anyway, based on the stories about how ruthless he was, I, I couldn't imagine bumping into Genghis Khan today. Sure, I'd love to. There was a time when many people believed that a man named Christopher... Christopher Columbus discovered the continent of North America. He didn't, of course. There were already people living there. And he exploited, murdered them, and committed other atrocities. Yet, people actually believed he was some sort of hero for a long time. I'm not sure why, when there was evidence of people crossing a land bridge to get there tens of thousands of years prior. I suppose it's because we don't have the names of those people 